Not a fan of you, dude. You're quick. Alright, we gotta kill the little guys. Get out of my face. Oh, shh. We only got... We only got one of those. No, 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 no. Don't do this to me. Alright, we have to stop story time. And just... We gotta hunker down real quick. Nah, get the hell out of here, dude. Alright, we're gonna crush this boy. Even though he was the one that was weak. Not the smartest move. But we're panicking. We're panicking right now. Take it. We're not we're not going to the graveyard right now. You're, you're gonna chill and just take a few more rockets to your dome. Alright, there there's the little guy. You've been trying to sneak up on me. I'm not a fan of you doing that stuff. Alright. You're kind of... He's chilling back there. Not sure what, what you're up to. Is he summoning more of these dudes? Why are there more coming? It's ridiculous. I got... One hit left. Or I'm friggin' toast right now. Are you guys ever gonna stop? Trying to tell a story, dude. Not often that I can remember a story. And you're, you're freaking ruining it. Holy crap. Spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. So, anyway. <clears throat> so, yeah, she ended up jumping off. And she broke her ankle. It was, it was terrible. I didn't think it was serious at first because of, like, her reaction. Because it was like, again, I couldn't hear her. I was trying to make my way toward her. It was one of the scariest things, man. I, I would highly advise... Even if you're a fairly experienced swimmer, to never get in the water with waves and a sheer rock face. That not only was it sheer, but this thing was razor sharp everywhere. It was that type of coral that's just extremely porous. It was... it was terrible. That's odd. I'd have thought oh, man. have been interested in this loop, but there's no sign of him. So, yeah, I was hitting the little guy. Hitting the little guy. Not smart. Okay. Gotta look around for the symbols, man. Giving me extra work to do? Alright. Keep an eye out for the symbols. So, one there, one there, one there. Accio. Yeah, and then it was crazy because it was just me and her that, well, it was me down at the beach in the water alone because we jumped into a beach, basically, that is not accessible. There's no way to get down there unless you jump into the water. So the people from the hotel, I, I guess other people up top were looking down and seeing, so somebody went to go get help. Find the missing pages. So other people went to go get help. And they eventually brought a ladder to come down. But forget about it. I was trying to drag my wife all the way back up the beach. Because it was actually becoming high tide. And in this little beach, that's why they don't let anybody go down there. It becomes pretty much pounded by waves so you'll have like some sand but the waves are coming in pretty big it, it was scary and then we had to swim out basically because they couldn't get her up a ladder you know what i'm saying 
there was no way to actually get her up and the tide was coming in the waves are coming we were all the way up the beach as far as we could and my wife is laying down and the water is starting to like come up to her her like waist and she's way laying down and the waves are coming you know so anyway thank god there was oh my god impossible to tell a story right now <laughs> probably the wrong time to do that all right take another one we want as little problems as possible right now oh my god you guys got new moves i like burning them right after i Take a look at their groin. <laughs> I like to check them out, make sure that they're they're not getting wasted. Make sure they got nothing nothing going on down there. No reproduction capabilities possible. So we were on the beach, people coming down, trying to help us, but these banana heads, absolute banana heads that don't understand you cannot get like a hundred and fifty pound person up a ladder a wooden ladder mind you so um we end up actually hailing a boat we end up hailing a boat somehow which w oh you can't block that we end up hailing a little tiny fishing boat and they actually tried to come pick us up but Again, not easy for the boat to come into this tiny little beach, so it actually had to stay out. And we had to go swim to this boat while my wife has a broken ankle and is in excruciating pain. But I will say she's, she's a beast. She is an extraordinary one. So then... We swim out to the boat. How the hell are we getting onto the boat? Waste. But I wanted to see the fatality there. On an epic foe. So we swim out to the boat. The people are trying to help us get onto the boat. We're almost like tipping it over. And then... We end up... Well, I get onto the boat. And then it actually made it a world easier to... Uh, Dude, the potion, don't be dilly-dallying like that with the potion. And then we were actually able to get onto the... She was able to get onto the boat. That's something that was an understatement, to be quite honest, because... Dude, the waves were coming in while we're trying to get on this boat, and you don't think of it until you're next to a boat in the water, but that is extremely scary with waves because this thing if you get bonked by that it's going to be more than a, a bonking you, you're going to be out cold so anyway that's the last thing i wanted to have happen to my wife or me it was terrifying then we basically went from that little beach onto a larger beach there was literally like 200 tourists on this beach and we're pulling in <laughs> like something out of like a navy seal operation the boat goes like onto the sand you know and then we get my wife off this is the dominican republic again so thank god my wife is a native so it made it an absolute world easier otherwise forget about it and that story continues i have more to that but i'm gonna I'm gonna go easy on that right now. You get me started, it's hard to stop me, to be quite honest. So, that's one of the things where having, having something to rebound. Where are we going? The beautiful, every, everything so, so grand. In Hogwarts. Everything's so wonderful. Marvelous. Marvelous.
trying to think. There's one of those, like, British cooking shows. What's going on? Stuff's broken over here? Ah. Been a while since we had to whip out our little book of spells over here. Repairer. No? I mean, that was rather... That, that was a very elaborate cast to not be doing it. Is that bugged? Hmm. Strange. Repairer. That's very strange. I feel like that is not correct. Ah, uh, we forget about this illusionment. I don't know, man. Maybe the light? Somehow the light will redeem us? It does help. That's why I like having the light on the bar. Because it definitely helps to, for you guys as well, so things aren't too dark. What the hell is going on here? I don't know. It's not... It's not Reparo, which I really feel like it is. Okay, we have to go back through there. Don't be a uh, Where am I? An idiot. Oh no. The room's starting to flood. Yes, it definitely is. You might want to start moving. What sort of magic is this? Oh, okay. All right. Maybe now we 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 go back to Reparo. I think I think that that's what's going to happen. We were a little bit early for the Reparo. That's my bet. I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. Yep. What is this place? Even got a door to close behind us, too. What is this place? Lewis. Is bright. Revelio. Lumos. What? Can I step in that? Oh my god. I thought we were about to fall to our death. You have those moments where like your heart just feel like it drops into you, your asshole? Can it be? Who is this, sir? What else is going on? Wow. Beautiful. How are you doing, my friend? I mean, we could talk back here. I want to see the man. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. 
I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Is that what you start with? 11 talent points? I've been neglecting that the entire time. Oh my god. Prove your spell casting, abilities, dark arts, overall effectiveness, stealth, room of requirement. I always love utility in an RPG. Utility talents. That's, that's where I'm at. I don't like potions, though. That's pretty good. Chomping, chomp, chomping cabbage. Chinese chomping cabbage. You gotta be specific, because... It has to be Chinese, otherwise it's not gonna be going at the enemy's knees. <laughs> 